Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I made this hair into a wig and how I styled it. So let's jump right into the video. I have four bundles of Brazilian straight hair from Tinashe's hair. I love their hair, you guys. This is like my fourth or fifth time working with them, and I love their hair. So I have 120, 122, and 224 inch bundles, and the closure is a 5x5 five five closure, and it is also 20 inches. I'm going to make this wig using my mesh dome wig cap, and I'm going to bleach the closure first. Put my bleach on. I use the Clairol and the BW2 bleaching products, and I'm just going to leave it on this closure for about 25 minutes all right you guys so now that we got the closure looking like scalp honey we are going to apply it on top of the wig cap and we're gonna take some T pins to pin down all four corners just to help sew it down and yeah look at this you guys I didn't even pluck it at all in the front this is how the closure comes it looks so good so now I'm just gonna take my needle and thread of course and just start sewing it down it's super easy I go through the wig cap first and then up through the closure. So here I'm like almost done. I, like I said you guys I have so many videos up on how I make a wig and I don't want to just bore you guys seeing me do the same steps so this is how I'm sewing the hair on basically like how I sew the closure on. So this is how it looks now. It looks so good, you guys. Their closures are so bomb. And like I said, it's a 5x5 closure, which gives you a 5-inch part, which looks more natural. So here, I'm just going to pluck along the parting a little bit just to make the parting a little wider and more natural looking. That is the goal, just to make it look as natural as possible. So before I put the wig on, I cut the lace off and I added my bronzer. You wanna add like a darker color, it'll look more natural. The wig is kinda bumpy up here, so I'm gonna get it as flat as I can on top. And I'm gonna try to pluck it some more like in this area right here because it's a five by five closure. I love Tinashe's closure. They are bomb and I love like the longer parting because that always looks more natural, you know? But y'all, I honestly never use the got to be glue and other things like that. I really wanna try it. I've used, hold on. No, I've used the got to be glue. I never used the, um, is it called the ghost bond? And what's the other one? The other popular one. I never use those kind of adhesives. I always just use my spritz. This is kind of like the free spray. And um, I've used the free spray before too and it works the same. So all I'm gonna do is just spray the lace in the front. you guys so I already um, ran my flat iron through the top just to lay it down as flat as I can get it and I'm gonna use this Murray edge wax this is what I've been using to lay my edges so you guys see me use my little razor right here to create some little baby hairs I don't ever go too crazy with the baby hairs but I like to have you know a little just a little something something That looks good. And I feel like if I did try like the um, ghost bond glue or that other glue, then it would look even better. And y'all don't drag me about my nails. I'm getting them done actually in the morning. So and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and curl this. I'm just gonna use my flat iron to curl this hair. See how well this hair curls and how well it holds. So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in Tanache's hair, I will leave all the links down below. And yeah, I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye.